board is a big promotion board, and the banking hall or wall as you call it. Um, we have FNB, Netbank, Opsa, Standard Bank, and Capitec Bank um, that's coming in at the moment. Mr. Price is relocating temporary to that space, and Queen's Park is, is relocating temporary to that space. After that, the, we have tenants for that in that area, but just because of the constraints um, that um, that we have breaking through the mall where the current Mr. Price and Queen's Park um, is situated, we need to relocate them downstairs. And I think, and then you'll see later on when we go downstairs, we have a little view window on that plan over there. And it's actually nice to, uh, we're going to break through there. And that, this is happening in two months' time. The 1st of June, I'm, open, I'm actually opening up this part of the mall with all the banks in place and trading. Now, if you look at the current um, size of First National Bank and Standard Bank, where it is, especially Standard Bank, is a tiny, tiny little bank, and it's, I don't know how they cram. 500 people on a payday or whatever it is in that little bank, but it looks like a it looks like a sardine nest inside. Um, so we're actually giving them a nice big space or whatever it is. And, and the nice thing is that Standard Bank, both Standard Bank and FMB, or all three or four of the big banks, is actually coming in with all the latest the latest of the new designs um, that's in place in South Africa, which is I, I think it's going to also add a, a lot of flavour to this particular area. Um, can I ask you a question, Nate? Yes. Is that parking going to be open at the same time as they move in? Yes. You'll see when you go downstairs. I'm actually busy. The, we're coming out to the paving. We're already kind of over there. That all is paved as we currently speak. Once the paving is in, all I have to do is I've got to put the curbs in, I've got to do the road parkings, and this entrance, together with this, the parking together with the brand new entrance that, that I'm creating here, is going to be open the day of trading on that level. So I'll be able to stop there and walk to my bank. You will undercover out of the sunshine. <laughs> you don't have to bring the factor <laughs> <Factor 30. laughs> no factor thirty exactly. for new shop for the new shopping experience. And um, part of the whole um, look at the entire mall, the holistic um, feel of the whole thing as so, well. As we had a very careful as architects, um, we had a very careful look at the or a holistic view on, on what's happening with parking. So we created a whole new, you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of roadworks as well. And we're creating brand new entrances um, and we're resurfacing the whole in the entire area that uh, even here as well, we're creating brand new entrances. The reason for that is you've got to, you've got to understand that we're, going to, we're creating 2,500 more parking bags. So you're going to have 2,500 more cars coming onto site. And that's going to, as it is, it's already a, a nightmare getting parking here. But the, to get the traffic to flow, once, you know, on a payday or if you see a huge influx of people here, once that is happening, you actually got to have the people going. And the, the people, you, you don't want people to sit for half an hour to get out of the shopping center. It's just not going to happen. So we had a very careful look at this whole thing and the, the design wise, you know, what to do with traffic and, and public access and that sort of kind of stuff. So that's all pretty much an end. We, we literally worked with one of the better designers, traffic-wise, in Johannesburg to help us with, with the whole you know, um, traffic assessments and that kind of stuff in conjunction with the city council. And then, but once we finish with that, um, you're going you're to see this promotion court is also, is also created. It's especially for Mrs. Corrin Guerta to throw lavish big bodies there. I'm sure she's going to do that. <laughs> and all these um, young men with all these all these fancy cars or whatever it is and hot rods and whatever you, you're going to call it or whatever you say. That space is created especially for that. That people can actually come in and it is a big space. When you go to site you're going to see that is huge. And this is, I've done a, um, I was very privileged, I left South Africa about 10 years ago and I went to Dubai. I worked in Dubai for four years and I went to Bahrain, the Kingdom of Bahrain and I worked there for a, for a year. And we did a shopping center of 365,000 square meters. That's a kilometer and a half by a kilometer big block of shopping center. And then we we used the same thing, but the promotion cost was just huge because the the cars are huge. So you, you you have to have big space there. But this is exactly what it's what it's what you know what it's created for. Um, and that's all accessible from the top. You know you can actually look down. You can lean over the handrails where it's on a Sunday night when the people got nothing to do in this town, they can actually stand there and entertain themselves, um, like they do in all, all other shopping centres. Um, and then we've got a, the, the ground floor, um, where we have some major tenants coming in now, um, this giving babysitting and toys for us, and what it is. 
the problem at the moment is we see this, 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 I think due to the whole economic um, downturn in the country, where there's a, there's a bit of a hesitation from the big, all the retailers at the moment to, you know, they, they, everywhere they're very slow to, to take up space and what it is. But so far we've actually done our work with, with over 80% lead now on the entire centre. So if it's still one or two boxes, then it's, then it's empty, but it's small, it's small spaces. All the, basically all the pink is um, vacant at the moment. But we're looking for um, people to take up restaurant space. Um, that's the one thing we don't have. Um, and Brawl, our leasing agents, actually is in the process. Um, some of the major um, steers, and, and I can't remember who else, black steers and whatever, is indicated that they're looking for um, franchisees in Petersburg. So if it's interested in opening up a restaurant space, we have the space you know, to lease out. Um, it's basically the only space at the moment that is not lit. It's the three restaurant spaces in the coffee shop upstairs that we have a problem with. The other, yeah, the other spaces are all being negotiated. Yeah, it's um, a, the tenant are being about it's, all, yeah, it's, it's all being completed and whatever it is and we're moving forward with it. Um, upstairs, I, this area is going to be complete by 1st of June. I'm opening up. The timing will be done. The sequence is almost finished. Um, I'm busy from next week. I'm busy. I'm going to start tiling from here onwards. Um, and that whole area will be complete by opening for all the banks. Then I come to this area, and this area is earmarked for the 28th of October. I'm going to be 100% complete with all the roadworks, all the parking, and this whole new, all these new shops. It's going to be in and trading on the 28th of October this year. Still. Then next year, in next year in. March, I'm just going to move a little bit of a few internal shops. We're moving around, and Fushini is becoming a little bit bigger. Balkans and Double Sports taking up bigger space inside the current mall. And that's it.